Hi everyone and welcome to this yoga class here in Lombok, Indonesia. Today we will sculpt and tone our bodies with this yoga and Pilates fusion whole body workout. If you're ready, let's get started with a quick warm-up stretch in a kneeling position at the center of your mat. Bring your right hand onto the mat next to you, your hips over to the left, and then reach your left hand over your head, opening out the left side body, reaching over to the right, look up towards the sky and open that left shoulder. Beautiful deep breath in here, enjoy the stretch and exhale, release tension out of your body. Inhale, come back to center and then switching sides, left hand onto the mat, hips over to the right and then reach your right hand over your head bending over and opening the right side body. Breathe deeply, waking up your spine and your muscles. And then exhale, come back to center again. And we will continue with the warm up. Meet me in a tabletop position on your mat. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Roll your shoulders back, engage your core, and then we will start with a cat cow. So on your inhale, you will drop your belly, open the shoulders and look up. Hold it here and then exhale, round your spine and tuck your chin in. Cat, inhale, open the chest, drop your belly, cow, exhale, round the spine. Feel how you create space between your vertebrae, then inhale, arch the spine, look up, and exhale one more time, rounding the spine, hold it here. Inhale, come back to center. Before we start with the first exercise, we will come into one more stretch. Extend your right leg to the back, parallel to the floor. Then bend your right knee and with your left hand, try to grab that right foot. Keeping your thigh parallel to the floor and then try to pull your right foot closer towards your glutes, stretching out the right quad muscle. Trying to find your balance here, this is a very challenging pose, so it's totally fine if you fall off. Release that left hand, extend the right knee, and then release that right foot down onto the mat. Keep your knee off the mat, and then you will pivot on your left knee Turning over onto your left hand and left knee. Extend your right arm up towards the sky and stay here. We will come into leg lifts. So your right foot is going to kick up towards the sky 10 times. Let's get started for one and two and three. Nice and controlled. Keep your legs straight, five, six, seven, three more, eight, stay with me, nine, and ten. Keep the leg up high and we will come into pulses. Extend your foot and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the leg and then release your right foot onto the mat and turn back to center. Very good job everyone. We will stay on this side. 
tuck your left toes and then lift your hips up towards the sky right foot comes up into three-legged dog stay here reaching up with your right foot extend your spine and stretch your shoulders we will continue with the next exercise working our core so bend that right knee and then bring that knee to your right elbow hovering the leg above the floor exhale right foot up towards the sky and inhale right knee to your left elbow hold it there exhale right foot up and inhale bring that knee to the center bring it to your chest hover and exhale bring it back up to the sky hold it here stretch it out feel into this downward facing dog just a quick breath before we continue so that right foot is going to come through over to the left now pivot on your left foot coming into a side plank left hand up towards the sky and keep that right foot hovering above the floor exhale come back into three-legged downward facing dog left foot up inhale come back into the side plank left arm up towards the sky right foot hovering above the floor exhale right foot up towards the sky three-legged downward facing dog one more time inhale side plank hold it here engage your body and exhale back into three-legged downward facing dog beautiful everyone from here we will come into a high lunge so bend that right knee and then step your right foot forward between your hands find your balance and then bring your arms up into high lunge right knee over your right ankle left leg is extended open the chest and reach your arms up towards the sky hold for a breath and then on your exhale bring your hands down towards the mat and then kick your left foot up extending both legs coming into supported warrior three hands on the mat you can bend your right knee if you need and then open your hips out reach that left hand up towards the sky meet me in a half moon pose this is already a bit advanced so if it's too much for you just stay in the supported warrior three if you want to go further you can remove that right hand from the mat bring your hands in front of your chest and find your balance creating a beautiful human ladder T try to find a focus point for your eyes and don't worry if you fall out just come back into the pose exhale open your arms release your right hand onto the mat and oops here i was falling off myself so come back to the pose and then square off your hips meet me in supported warrior three release your left foot to the mat and fold forward from your hips release your upper body and let's flow it out inhale come up halfway extend your spine hands onto the mat step back into high plank chaturanga dandasana inhale upward facing dog and on your exhale hips back and up into downward facing dog adjust yourself stretch it out and take a breath before we continue on the other side slowly release your knees down onto the mat and meet me back in tabletop position again engage your core and this time we will reach the left leg back parallel to the floor hold it here and then bend that left knee 
find your balance and try to reach with your right hand towards that left foot to stretch your left quad muscle. Engaging every muscle in your body and keeping that left thigh parallel to the floor. Amazing, stay with me for another breath. And then release that left foot, extend the left knee and bring that left foot down onto the mat. This time pivot on your right knee, bring that left hand up towards the sky and prepare for our leg kicks. 10 times slow and controlled to sculpt our glutes. If you're ready, let's get started. One and two. Keep the legs straight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10, keep the leg up. We will go right into pulses for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Amazing, release the left foot and square out your hips, come back to center. Keep the left knee off the mat, right toes are tucked. And then bring your hips up and back into downward facing dog, reaching the left foot up towards the sky. Three legged downward facing dog, extending the spine and distribute your weight evenly through all 10 fingers. Beautiful. Stay here, feel this deep stretch in the back of your right leg. And then coming to the next exercise, you will bend your left knee and then bring it to your left elbow, hold it there. Exhale, left foot back up towards the sky. Inhale, left knee to your right elbow, hover. And exhale, controlled and slowly up towards the sky. Exhale, left knee to center, engage your core. And exhale, bring the foot back up, three-legged dog. Stay to deepen the stretch even more and prepare for the next exercise. We will come back into side plank, so pivot on your right foot and reach the left foot forward, right arm up towards the sky. Hold it here, the left foot hovering above the floor. And then exhale, left foot up towards the sky, two more times. Inhale, left foot forward, come into side plank, right arm up, engage your muscles, exhale, left foot up towards the sky. And one more time, reach that left foot forward, stay with me, one more breath. And then exhale, left foot back up, three-legged downward facing dog. Deep breath in and then exhale, left foot comes forward between your hands. Find your balance and then bring your arms up into a high lunge. Right leg extended, left knee right on top of your left ankle. Open the chest, open the shoulders. Feeling free in your upper body. Exhale, release your hands down onto the mat. And then kick your right foot up, extending both legs. Meet me in supported warrior three. You can bend that left knee again. Feel free to adjust the pose to your level. And then open your hips out and reach that right arm up towards the sky into your half moon pose. Right leg is still extended, try to find your balance 
And if you feel like you want to go further, try to bring both of your hands in front of your chest, balancing on your left foot, creating this human ladder T with your body. Again, if you fall out, don't worry, just come back to the pose. One more deep breath in and exhale, extend your arms, the left hand onto the mat and then square out your hips, meet me back in supported warrior three, bring your right foot onto the mat and release into your forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway, extend your spine, extend your knees. And then exhale, hands onto the mat and step back into downward facing dog. We have one more exercise for the core to finish up our practice. So take a deep breath and then exhale, come forward, bend your knees, sit down onto your mat, plant your feet in front of you and then slowly release your back down onto the mat, arms beside your body. From here, bring your knees in and give yourself a gentle hug. Then engage your core and slowly move your upper body up towards your knees, creating a little ball with your body. Then reach your hands behind your head, left knee extends, right knee extends and on your exhale, you will bring your hands forward, left knee in. Inhale, extend, exhale, right knee in. Extend, left knee. Continue like this, right, extend and left knee in. Keep your feet hovering above the floor. Extend, left knee in, extend, right knee in. A few more, stay with me. Extend and left, extend and right. Beautiful, bring both knees in, give yourself a hug and then release your legs. Bring your feet onto the mat and give yourself a nice stretch. Bring your hands over your head, interlace your fingers. Just stretch it out, elongate the spine. You did an amazing job today. Then release your hands next to your body. Release your feet and meet me in Shavasana. Close your eyes. Release any tension out of your muscles and any tension out of your mind. Clear your head. Try to tune into your body and feel the difference to the beginning of the class. Deep breath in. And exhale, melt into the mat, becoming heavy in every part of your body. Feel free to stay in Shavasana as long as you need, but if you want to come out of the pose with me, Start to move your fingers and your toes. Slowly move your ankles and your wrists, your forearms, and then plant your feet onto the mat and roll over to one side on the mat pressing yourself up into a seated position. Cross your legs in front of you. 
and bring your hands onto your knees amazing thank you guys so much for joining me in today's yoga and pilates workout class i really hope you enjoyed the practice and i'm excited to see you in the next class see you then bye